to show you how to adjust the clutch on a two cylinder John Deere tractor. This one's my 1949 Model A John Deere. I took it for a drive this afternoon and going up a bit of a steep incline I felt that the clutch was slipping. So um, I'm just going to show you how to adjust it. The clutch on two cylinder tractors is in, this, in the pulley section here and it's pretty easily adjusted unlike uh, more conventional tractors. Uh, this is the clutch assembly here. I've, I've just I've taken the cover, what goes on that, off, and um, you'll see that there's three bolts. Those bolts. I'll undo those split pins shortly, and um, with the clutch engaged, position as it is now. Um, I'm able to just tighten them up evenly and that'll put more pressure on the clutch. Through these linkages here, it comes up to your clutch lever just here. So that's in the engage position. If I pull that back, like so, you hear that click noise and the clutch is disengaged as it would be if you were driving, you wanted to stop, you just pull that lever back and that would pull you up. You can see in there, that's a, the clutch lining. There's actually two linings, there's another in here. And as I turn that, you can see that the pulley section turning. And this centerpiece here is like splined onto the crankshaft. So that's what comes straight from the drive from the engine. So back in the engaged position and I'll, I'll adjust it up now. Just before I adjust it, I just want to point out a couple of things. Um, I've got this IT shop service uh, manual and it's pretty helpful in all the technical and specifications you need um, in here it points out the clutch and belt pulley adjustment, so I'll follow, I'll follow that through and um, show you how to adjust it. Firstly, like I said, you d disconnect these split pins here. I've already d taken that one out. We can, they're a bit bent now, but I can re renew them and put some new ones on so that's Nice and neat. So, make sure that clutch lever is engaged. And then evenly we'll just do a quarter turn on each of these to make sure it's nice and even. Couple, those two there are a lot looser than that one was. Again, just um, the lever back to disengage it and you can hear that click. That's um, what you should hear. A nice snap as it engages. And it's nice and firm there now so so that should be right to um, be, put this split pins back in and then I'll put that cover back on and the, the clutch should be nice, nicely adjusted and it won't slip anymore. Now just to to lock it back up, you can see the the hole here where your split pin goes is not lined up with the castellation in the nut, so it's just a matter of turning that nut just a little. And they're not that tight because I've got the clutch disengaged, so that one there. That hole there, that hole there is lined up. Now to fit the split pins in, we just fill in the hole. Bit better there to see. Just find the hole there. We slip that split pin through. 